Monday, everybody. Hopefully, everybody had a great weekend. And uh, happy Father's Day. Hopefully, everyone had a great Father's Day This uh, for all my daddies out there. Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you, Nick. Dave, Mary, Mike, Mark, everybody. All right. So, uh, it is Monday. New week. Um, a little cloudy here in New York. So, I think everybody uh, is going to be ready to get back into trading because a lot of kids are starting uh high school is pretty much over for a lot of kids here in the northeast area i know final start so summer is only what a couple of days away now i think uh, was it the 22nd so we're gonna have a i think we're gonna have a really fun summer and listen if today if today's any different than last month last week's monday i mean last monday we literally just paid for itself so you know as of what's going on this morning there's really not that much out there but there are a couple of stocks we're going to check them out uh, but just give you a little heads up on upcoming events. Just keep in mind, Traders Talks coming up. Classes do start this week. And don't forget the Trading Summit. Uh, that starts September 10th to September 12th here in at Cyber Trading University in New York. So hopefully look to see you guys there. All right. Now, uh, what we got going on uh, this morning? Well, I mean, obviously, the big news is the stock that all of you guys have been trading so far is the, CV, the CTRV. The stock has been a great, great runner this morning. Had gorgeous Fausto flags. Uh, uh, you're having great orders everywhere with that stock right there. And we're going to come back and check it out. But before we do that, let's start off what happened on Friday. All right, let's see what some of you missed and uh, and go from there. First, let's start off with the MARX trade right there. That stock, I don't know what happened. It just came from nowhere going into the close. You could see at 230, thing just went from 610 all the way to 680. Great, great mover. Had a really quick pop early. Great Fausto flags right there, um, right after about 2:30, and then kind of like did a little couple of nasty shakes in there. But not that, not terrible. But I know some of you guys did pretty well in there. The other big mover, which is shockingly, is LK, which is actually going into this morning's watch list too. But LK, I call this um, uh, mini uh, Starbucks right here. It's a, co a copy Starbucks. It's a Chinese company right there that is basically you have a lot of stores uh, out there, but stock. Just went public. We're from 25, tanked at 15. Shockingly, it's already at 19. Had a nice little run up. Uh, you could see yes uh, on on Friday, and she's kind of picking up that momentum. She closed right around the 1920. She almost at 1980 this morning in pre-market. So that one's going back on the watch list. Another one that's also going on the watch list this morning that is coming from Friday is Chewy. Now, if you have any kids. I mean, the kids, I'm sorry. Well, technically, your child, you know, your animal is like a child. I mean, it is like a kid, right? So, uh, company just went public on Friday. Uh, Chewy is a really good online uh, store for buying uh, pet food and, and stuff like that. Went public, actually doing pretty well. It's got some momentum, took a big, big hit on Friday. It opened up just a little too high in tank. Let me just fix the time frame here so you can see what I'm talking about. It started right around 38, shot to 41, tanked to 40, uh, 34. Now, this is an IPO. Now, you guys know, you got to be careful with IPOs. you got to be a little bit more of an advanced trader. Can't be, uh, can't be trading something that really is not in your league because these things will really crush you. Um, remember, it's all about risk, not, not the reward. Uh, the money comes later. It's all about... Was the cost you get in? And then we had this last one right here, the ARQL. Uh, uh, Pre-market gapped up. Was a good short after the market um, opened up. So some of you guys did pretty well. So that's what you guys missed on Friday. Now let's talk about what's going on this morning. Now we got the Chewy on there. I told you about Chewy. And uh, that stock uh, had a really, really nice move. She's gapping up a little bit this morning. Now some of the people were asking me, over the weekend, they say, hey, I heard Chewy went public. You think it's a good investment, this and that? Listen, I don't know what a good investment is until probably maybe three, four weeks from now and let the smoke clear. We see a lot of these IPOs, and shockingly, there's been a lot of them that came out this year, um, a lot more than we have seen in a while. A lot, a lot of companies have been sitting back for a long time. But, you know, they've been fun, and some of them are working out, and some of them haven't. So you got to be just be very careful what, what you're putting your money in, and uh, you got to – be an investor, you gotta let the smoke clear. Another one that's on that watch list. Uh, we talked about the C. Oh, the CTRV. Let me get let me get back to that one. So the T, uh, th that one is gapping up really really nicely. It's up about almost 70%, 68 to be exact. Stock took a huge hit. If you look at the long term trade of last year, this thing was at 180 dollars. And when you look at it where it is today, you're like, wow, my God. Feel bad for the people that own it back then. Well, listen, maybe I don't know. We traded we traded a few times already in the past. If you go back 
back to your journals, which by the way, is very, very critical that you do your journals every day. I don't know how much more we have to stress it to you guys, but how are you going to learn from mistakes if you don't check your journals? We're going to be covering that a lot in class and actually on the new, uh, the new course, uh, courses, uh, the fast track courses that we're going to be doing here at Cybertrain University. It's very important that you guys do that homework. Uh, but anyway, that stock, we traded it. We did pretty well. It backed off. I felt like it was a little bit more of a short squeeze. Um, you can see it right here Last when we traded it back here. It wasn't too long ago when it went from like 8 to almost like 20, something like that. Go back to your journals. Check it out because we did trade it. Another one, um, you know, I keep hearing about this. And, you know, I'm like all over the place with blockchain. So, you know, you're hearing all the cryptocurrency, this and that. It was such a great story when it first came out and uh you know now they all took hits you know it's up this morning i would keep a close eye on it some people think it's still you, you know bitcoin's going to a hundred thousand some people say it's going to a million you know it's hovering at 10 you know listen there's a lot more stocks out there that we've traded here in the market that you can make a lot less more money with a lot less risk at least you have more control now you know it's nice to be a little you know, how can I say diversified, but listen, just be very careful that I don't know too much about it. And, uh, it's just, this gives you so much less risk, more reward. But if you want to, if you want to see, you want to throw some poop on the wall and see if it sticks, just don't do a lot of it. Cause I know some people got crushed in it. C A L A is another one that's popping up on our watch list. Okay, I guess she's just backed off. I thought this will look pretty good this morning. It was gapped up pretty nice. It looked like it backed off. You know what? I'm going to scratch her out. And then the LK, I'm going to put that book on my watch list again. So it looks like a lot of stocks that, remember what we always taught you, that to be a good swing trader and investor, you got to be a good day trader. And if you notice, some of these stocks that we've been day trading, maybe now they became more of a swing trade, like maybe LK. You know, that this is some, this is an example like I'm basically telling you. You saw the stock open up at 25, you bought at 15. You know, if you really liked it and worked out pretty well and held pretty strong, you probably – and you wanted to own as a swing trade, you probably should have had around $17, $18. So you're looking pretty good right here, just like Uber, you know. I told you I'm swing trading that one. Let me put the – typed in the wrong win, window. You know, Uber gapped up pretty big. Looks like it's, you know, building a nice little Fausto flag. If you were here, uh, everyone should probably have got it where I got it, right around 39 there, I got like 39.50, so I mean, shop the 45. So I mean, there are good swing trades out there, but you gotta know what's happening over the course of the day. You want to get it at a good price. All right. Uh, any other questions, guys? That any questions that um, any stocks I missed that I did not bring up? Any other questions? Yeah, so you know, Jerry, just I, you know, I just saw your chat right now. Facebook is developing a, a coin, and you know what? <laughs> If you know the whole story about why they're doing it, it's all about because they have the users. They're basically trying to run a community, you know, their own, you know, currency within their own company, which honestly, when you really think about it, that's what PayPal does, right? Isn't that what PayPal does? It's the same thing. Now they're just taking it to a different level. You buy with PayPal money. You know, there it is. Different as PayPal is obviously related to the dollar. But now they got their own community. They want to make their own value, and that's what they want to do. But just, uh, but listen, you know, let that stuff keep coming out because that just makes opportunities for us when it comes to trading. Just got to trade the market. <laughs> Who cares? Get away from the banks. Like I said, Jerry, don't take it personal. Just look at it as, you know, an opportunity. That's why you have to look at it. Uh, Michael says the... The S O L Y just got crushed. Yeah, uh, well, it, it looks like it got crushed, but look, like I just came back. So I don't know what that is all. But that must have been just a crazy print right there. Yeah, it's just a matter of time, you know. Like I said, Jerry. I mean, listen, everybody's gonna try to jump on this bandwagon, but I mean, I even I even heard Jaguar, the car company, was even con was looking into it. So uh, it's. Money's going to be, a, I mean, if everybody's starting to do it, money's going to be a big difference. But listen, that, that's a story itself. At the end of the day, what are we doing here? We're here to capitalize on it, so let's trade on it. So anyway, guys, not a really big list here on a Monday. It's perfectly normal to be like that on a Monday, but we saw what happened when the market opened up. We only need one to make a really good day's pay. Uh, the array is one I forgot. I, you know, let me just bring this up, the array, because I want to kind of just talk about it. Uh, stock was a buyout right here. 
you know, we've been trading it the last couple of days. And uh, if you caught on to it and you held on to it, you did pretty well. So for all those people that did pretty well on Array, congratulations. You know, I just want to, you know, you guys did great on that one. All right. So anyway, a lot of events going on this week. And just keep in mind, everybody, that with the classes going on this week, which is very important, you got to be in class. Trading is not a full-time job. It's a part-time job. We only work, you know, I mean, I know everyone's here all day. It doesn't mean you log out. You want to keep the text so you know what happened, what you missed. But uh, but make sure you know those classes because you got to learn before you can earn. And I, and let's all welcome um, all our new members that are starting on the first day here on Monday, which is basically what we do. All we can tell you guys is make sure you talk to Education Advisor, watch those sample videos that we gave you so you know exactly what the, what the code words that we use here in the room, and just look, listen, and learn. Because remember, I know everybody wants to trade, doesn't mean you should. And the only way you're going to know it is seeing if other people make money doing it. All right, so good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and we'll see you back in the afternoon. Let's go make some money with the market open, all right? Good luck, everyone.